because the time in my life I thought I was never going to be able to go out without makeup. My name is Memuna and I am a beauty enthusiast. If this is your first time of seeing me and my content, I hope you enjoy it and you stay. If you're returning, welcome back, but you need to subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, welcome back. So um, today I'm going to be showing you guys my new skincare routine. Um, I'm going to show you how I took my skin from, I'm sure I'm going to insert a clip somewhere from that to this. This is my face. The time is 1.34 p.m. I actually haven't washed my face today. I have just finished um, bleaching my hair. And I did some other things and um, so I'm just getting around to doing this I wanted to wash my face and actually do my routine on camera so yeah if you want to see my skincare routine and how I save my sensitive irritated dry skin took it from that to this then keep watching this is a video for you so yeah I'm gonna insert a clip of all the products and it's gonna be in the order in which I use them so I'm gonna first of all start by washing my face with my Neutrogena Hydro Boot yeah, I'm going to start with that. Um, I'm going to quickly just wash my face with that, then I'll come back on camera and just give you guys like a brief history about my skin while I use the product so that you can understand where I'm coming from and see if we have similar issues so that you can kind of follow these steps or I can direct you to the esthetician that hooked me up. So yeah, give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back now. Where do I start from? Okay, so I have super dry sensitive skin. I actually have atopic dermatitis. It's, a, um, it's genetically inherited eczema, so it's something you live with all your life. It presents with symptoms of asthma. So when I was younger, I used to wear and I'm allergic to dust and pollen and all those things that you would usually find in an asthmatic patient, but I'm not asthmatic. So for the longest time, I've had like really bad skin, and when I was younger, you know, I just couldn't pinpoint what the problem was. My mates had acne, I didn't have acne, what I had was just something different. So none of the usual things that other people were using was working for me and it kind of frustrated me a lot. So um, my next step is my Claire's Moisturizing Toner. So I'm just going to put some in the palm of my hand. Initially when I started using this product, I used, to, <laughs> I used to put it on a cutting pad and use it to wipe my face because that's how I've always known people use toners. But literally like, was it yesterday or day before yesterday, I looked at the directions and it literally said just like pat it all over your face using your palms. I felt so stupid. <laughs> but yeah, it's been working either ways. Um, so anyway, um, so when I was younger, I went to a dermatologist who now told me that, you know, I had a topic dermatitis and all of that. But he never really preferred a solution. I mean, there's no solution. It's just something you manage over the years. So with time, there was a time my mom had this um, skin pressing in Lagos that she used to go to. I went to the person, they gave me some creams and soaps, and I used this. And it seemed to work initially, but then it started making me lighter. And I didn't want to be really like light skin. I wasn't trying to bleach, so I stopped using this. And then my face regressed, and it was really, really bad and bumpy. In fact, there was a time in my life I thought I was never going to be able to go out without makeup. Like, I legit used to think that I would never be able to go out without makeup. It was really that bad. Then later on, I met another lady who recommended Foam Pax A for me from Ghana. She said that the Nigerian one was not as effective, blah, 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 blah. I used it for a while. It worked, but um, it just it didn't manage my symptoms very well. Then I got pregnant. So after, I feel like the toner has dried. So if this were night time, I, the next step I would do would, would be to use the ordinary lactic acid. I don't use any of the acids. I don't use this acid or my vitamin C serum during the day because they tend to make your skin a bit sensitive. So use it at night so they can work while you're in dark and you know you don't you're not susceptible to skin burns. So uh, my usual next step at night would be to use the ordinary lactic acid and then I would use the vitamin C serum. I know you can't see the name, but I'll write all the names down. The, down in the description bar is timeless 20% C plus E plus ferulic acid serum so that's what this is so those are the next two I would have used then after that I would um, then use the ordinary azelaic acid this is for general brightening of the skin it's going to just get rid of like the dullness which I have underneath my eyes so um when I got pregnant, my skin became amazing. Like I looked so beautiful when I was pregnant. My skin was like plastic. 
I had absolutely no issues whatsoever. Then after I had MJ, some months later, my skin regressed. And then about a month ago, my skin became crazy bad. Like it looked like rude. My skin, which is, I will insert the clip there, like my skin was really on one. And then it coincided with the time where Dermaspace NG, which is where I got all these products from. This is not sponsored. So Dermaspace, they posted um, a picture talking about you know signs that you have dehydrated skin they said that you know you would have fine wrinkles which i did and i always wondered why i kind of look i had like old people's skin apparently my skin was not hydrated at all you know you need to have like moisture to plump in and fill up your skin which i didn't have they said you would have like dullness and dryness underneath the eyes which i did and you have sensitive patches which i did so that just kind of gingered me to you know reach out to them and tell them my issues and have them recommend something so these are the products they recommended and I, I started using them on the 11th of October initially and some days I won't lie I'm not perfect at using this but you know okay so sorry next up I'm using hydrocortisone now this step is not for everybody it's not for you this is because I have atopic dermatitis so some of my rashes are allergic reactions so this hydrocortisone is for that this is not for like if you generally have dry skin this is just because of my own skin condition and i only put it in the places where i typically i typically get my allergic um, rashes i reached out to them and then they recommended these products and i started using them and i cannot believe i now officially have like a skincare routine that works for me i have never been one of those people because i just felt like you know my case felt a bit hopeless so this is for everyone out there. Your case is probably not hopeless. I recommend them a space. I have um, yet to see a bad review about them. They do massages, they do facials, they do this. They have an institution on call. You know, they do um, pedicures and manicures, I believe, or is it just pedicures? But so far, so good. And I'm so happy with these products. Like, I, I really can't believe I have like a skincare routine that's working for me and I look great. I'm never gonna front. Like I'm, I'm feeling a lot more confident about my skin, my makeup. I feel like my makeup looks better because I'm not fighting with texture as much as I used to before. Sorry. And try to always moisturize your neck as well. They always say that the neck and the hands are how you know how old someone is, ladies especially. That those are the places that give away your age. So whatever you do to your face, you're supposed to do to your neck as well. And then last but not least is my Avino moisturizing um, lotion. It has 50% SPF. Um, so this was not recommended by Dermaspace. Dermaspace recommended another sunscreen, but I don't go out often. And I had sunscreen at home. I, I didn't realize it had expired at the time. So I told them not to bother with their sunscreen that I would just use that. But um, later on I found out that my sunscreen had expired. So my sister-in-law, she gave me this. I mean, I'm always indoors anyway, so I don't need that much SPF protection. So I just take about that amount. So it's like a moisturizer and SPF, which I absolutely love. Any kind of moisturizing agents for dry skin for me. I'm very happy to use. So that's pretty much my skincare routine and it has been working. I'm so happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed my skincare routine finally. And if you did, please be sure to give this a thumbs up and comment. It helps my channel grow. It helps YouTube recommend my videos to other people on YouTube. Thanks so much guys and I will see you in my next video. Oh shit, I forgot to tell you the name of the gel <laughs> I used before, right before using the SPF. It's called Hadalabo skin plumping gel cream so it's for plumping the skin and that's what fills in the fine lines in my face it's one of the things anyway so yeah that's it guys <laughs> thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye